Hi, this is Jamie with Stonemaier Games, and today I'm going to talk about my favorite game mechanism in Mystic Veil. Vale. Mystic Veil vale is a, it's a, essentially a deck building game, but it uses clear cards. Um, so you're actually building cards uh, to, to comprise your deck throughout the game. I don't know if you've seen the game before, but this is, I mean, the basic components. You have a deck full of mostly blank cards. Some of them have stuff on them. And throughout the game, you'll be acquiring these uh, clear cards that you'll put into the sleeves to create new cards. And like many deck builders, these get shuffled back into the deck and you draw a new hand and you buy some more stuff. You get points, you get more currency. It's a really clever system. Um, I've never seen it before, and, and I'm curious to see how AEG expands it. Um, my favorite mechanism, though, in this game surprised me to a certain extent uh, because it has to do with pushing your luck. In most deck builders, at the end of your turn, you draw a set number of cards, and that is your hand size unless you play a card that says draw another card or draw two cards. In, um, in Mystic Veil, vale, you are pushing your luck against spoiling. So some of these cards have this red icon on them, and uh, if you draw too many of these red cards, if you have too many of, of the, this red icon ex exposed, whether it's in play or if it's on top of your deck, because the top card of your deck is face up, then you spoil and you end your turn immediately. And you get a little bit of compensation, you get a little token that gives you an extra resource to spend the next turn. But basically you lose your turn. Um, but what's really interesting about this mechanism is that there is no set number of cards that you have to draw. You could keep on drawing and drawing um, until you see three of these. And that's how you basically set up for your turn. When someone else is taking their turn, you're drawing cards until the top card of your deck show is the third decay card. Um, so you have three. And then when it gets around to your turn, you decide um, if you want to put that card on top of your, of your deck into play, which would cause you to immediately expose the, the new top card of the deck. Um, and if that card is a decay, the, your turn ends. If it's not, then you get to choose again. Do you want to push a little bit further? And so this created, in a game that is largely multiplayer solitaire, I mean, you're buying cards that other players can obtain, so there's some interaction there. But the main time that you really pay attention to someone else's turn is when they kind of say, okay, guys, I'm, I'm going to go for it. I'm, I'm going to draw a card. I, I just, I, I need that fourth mana this turn, or, this, or the, the fifth mana, or the third mana. I'm going to go for it. I, I need to draw. And it creates this fun moment where everyone is engaged in what that one player is doing. And it's also fun for that player. It sucks to lose your turn, sure, but it's exciting to, to when, when you do, like say this is on the top of my deck, it's exciting when you, uh, when you put this into play and then draw the next card, and it's exciting even if it's a blank card, because a blank card doesn't have a decay on it, which is really interesting that it would actually be exciting in a game to draw a blank card. It, it just It's one of those little joyful moments in a game um, and, and interesting decisions in a game. Do you push your luck or do you not? Or do you buy what you, what you can afford right now or do you, do you push some so you can have more to afford? And it, it opens up the game to new possibilities because instead of being limited to a certain number of draws, you have control over whether or not you want to draw a card or continue to draw cards. I really, really like that. Um, so I'm curious what, what you think about this mechanism. Or if you've played Mystic Veil vale and have a favorite, another favorite mechanism in this uh, in this unique uh, card crafting game. Thanks. I look forward to seeing your comments.